Luke Donald has been one of Europe's most successful golfers in recent years, winning the European Tours race to Dubai and topping the PGA Tours money list in 2011. A big reason for that success is his partnership with caddy John McLaren. They teamed up in 2010 after Luke finished his partnership with his brother Christian. That difficult decision quickly yielded results, though, as Luke ended a four-year winless run at the Madrid Masters. The pair can now boast eight victories and have also enjoyed two European Ryder Cup wins together. Well, we met uh, when I first turned pro about 2002, 2003. He was caddying out on the US Tour for... I remember if it was Scott Dunlap or, or Duffy Wardorf, but one of the two. And you know, obviously, him being English, we uh, you know went to dinner quite a few times and, and became good friends. And then, obviously, my brother was caddying for me then, and uh, had eight years, good eight years with my brother. And it was time for a change. And uh, John was kind of one of the first people that came to mind. I received a phone call while I was in Singapore, working for Anders Hansen. And he called requesting my help. Honestly, I thought. Great short game, world class, needed a bit of work on his long game. Um, he expressed his ambitions, and at the time I thought they were lofty. I'd always enjoyed his, uh, you know, his kind of positive energy on the golf course. He's always smiling. Um, he's obviously uh, well known among the caddies as a great caddy. And, um, you know, I've always uh, you know, thought highly of him and um, just seemed like uh, a good fit for me, a good personality fit for me. I think we had three, four months of teething issues that people have generally in relationships because you get very set in your own particular ways. And Luke had his brother for such a long time, I think his requirements of the caddy were different to what I was giving. So I think the three, four months of teething were a bit like this isn't necessarily going to be a great relationship. Um, but then we got through that and it. I guess it really turned out to be just a respect thing. He needed, I needed to prove myself and for him to fully trust. And then once that happened, um, over a particular shot one day, and then he went, yeah, are you all right at this? He wanted to hit an eight iron and the pin was at the back and I told him it was never an eight, it was definitely a seven. And he said, have you any idea what's over this green? And I'm like, I've been here many more times than you and yes. And he hit a seven iron, he hit it to a foot and he made birdie and he went, are you all right at this? <laughs> the pair are now recognised as having one of the strongest player caddy partnerships in the sport. But what's the standout secret to their success? And what are they working on to achieve even greater things in the future? We've enjoyed a lot of uh, success, obviously. Uh, probably standing right here you know, at Wentworth uh, a couple of years ago. I think all the hard work and uh, working to get to, to number one in the world and winning this tournament at the same time was uh, a very special uh, feeling. He'd, he'd won already around this place with Anders Hansen and uh, knew this place well and, and obviously was, was a big part of uh, me winning this tournament. We both talk about staying in it, staying in, giving ourselves a chance, always trying to be aggressive with what we're doing and our decision making. So. It's literally lead up to the last six holes of the tournament, say let's just stay there for that and then we can see what we can do. Um, so we try not to shoot ourselves in the foot with bad decision making early. Um, yeah, he, there isn't much that uh, annoys me about him to be honest with. Uh, pet hates. You know, he's, he's, he's actually disgustingly good at his job you know he's always on time he turns up you know he's positive he smiles a lot so there's not much to uh, not like about him but uh, you know I think that's why uh, the relationship has worked so well for the last four years his nickname is is chicken korma <laughs> because we nicknamed him as when he fell off the number one spot and said you're chicken korma which rhymes with former so he's the former number one. <laughs> they clearly get on, but what habits does Luke have that might annoy John? Probably that I don't smile enough, you know, because he's he smiles for me, I think. But uh, any pet hates, I don't know. We, we we obviously we get along very well, and uh, it's important, you know. He's ha having a good caddy and, and someone you call a friend is is important because it's a very individual sport, and he's your the only person standing right next to you, uh, you know, day in, day out. 
the one shadow over Donald's career is the fact he's never won a major championship. But the man on his back feels he knows how to help him achieve that. For me, it's doing the very best job I can do as a caddy, and um, that's being the most prepared, uh, trying, as you say, to be very professional about everything I do regarding my advice to him, um, staying honest. Um, you know, that's, that's a big part of it. You know, we can all pass blame, but I like to accept when I do things wrong and apologize to him and say, you know, that was bad advice. It, it didn't work that out very well and hold my hand up. Um, so I think that helps.